What's going on guys, Mix it here, back again for another cocktail video and today's cocktail is a recommendation and I thought I like it that much, especially anything with absinthe, it will always get my attention so I thought I'll have a go just to see how this is done. So this is the Xena cocktail, you know who you are who recommended this to me, this one is for you. So I will do my variation to take on the Xena cocktail. So with the Xena, it is named after the character Xena Crumbane. So you're going back to the 1930s and it's... So with this cocktail, it is from the 1947 noir film, gonna say which was called Nightmare Alley. So it's a character that's what it's named after. So it's a take on the classic 1930 cocktail, which is a blondel, which is swapping the gin and dry vermouth with the right and sweet vermouth. So that is the difference there. So it's just another classic take on the blondel. To make the Zena cocktail, what you do is rinse the cocktail glass with absinthe. So this is a new on the channel, I've never ever done this before, so we've got to actually rinse a cocktail glass with absinthe. So we've got to put a little bit and we'll swirl it. So here is 5ml or 0.2 ounce of absinthe. So by giving that a little bit of swirl, just to swirl it around the glass, it gives it that nice classic sign of the absinthe, which is that nice sweet licorice aniseed smell. So what we're going to do now is get our little cocktail glass and put some ice. So get your tin shaker. I'm putting four to five ice cubes. Alright, so let's build this cocktail now. First ingredient into the tin, guys, is 60ml, 2 ounces of rye whiskey. I'm using Sazerac. Next, 22.5ml, 3 quarters ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm using Martini Russell. Next, 22.5 ml, 3 quarters ounce of a Benedictine. And last but not least, two dashes of Angostura bitters. So put your lid on. Now give it a good hard shake, 8 to 10 seconds to get nice and chill. So you get your cube glass that you rinse with absinthe and strain right into it. And there we go, one Xena cocktail. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, a one Xena cocktail. So you can have the option of garnish it with an orange twist if you wish. But that is how you make the Xena cocktail. How does it taste? <sighs> Certainly very boozy. One thing I will like, I was going to say, one thing that you can taste straight away is what makes it is a Benedictine, especially with the herbal flavour of it. But I like it. For me, the boozier the better, especially with cocktails like that. So the cocktail that packs a punch and this it delivers. But it's one of those, it's nice to be sipping it because I'd actually enjoy the flavours. That's the beauty of cocktail making, to enjoy the flavours and savour it. And that's where the Xena cocktail comes into its own. Especially if you like your rye whiskey, it comes into it. So I'm more of a bourbon man. Because I don't, don't get me wrong, I love Sazerac, I love rye whiskey. But if it is bourbon, I'd love it even better. But 
think it's a nice combination. I certainly like it better than gin, it's got to say with gin it's a very uh, bitter spirit, especially as you uh, make the blondel as well. I think this does it better, it's got to say with the one, it's a gin and a dry vermouth instead of a sweet vermouth. So this is a little bit sweeter and it's got a lot of flavour with it, especially with the Benedictine kicking in into it. It's got to say with Angostura bitters and then you've got the sweet vermouth as well kicking in and of course the the rye that gives it that final kick that you can really, really taste the back of it. That's when you know it's working. But that, my friends, has been the Xena cocktail. It's got to say thank you for your recommendation. I hope I've made it right. It's got to say this is my take on it. So it'd be nice to do a comparison for you as well. See how we've both done. But this has been the Xena cocktail. I will see you guys on New Year's Eve for my end of year blast 2023. As what I'm thinking is I will do a taste test of every single absinthe bottle and taste them like that. That's what I'm thinking like that. So I might even do a shot challenge. So I think I've got five bottles, maybe six like that, as I'll be. <laughs> Quite an appropriate mixed video, I think. See which one is the best absinthe as well, just to figure it out. Of all the absinths I've got, Perno, Habsburg, you name it, I've got it. And also Euphoria, but that's going to be my end of year one, and then I will make one on New Year's Day as well, as to start the new year of 2024. But I hope you all have a fabulous day, have a fabulous week as well. As I was to say, Christmas, you can't beat this period. It's you lose track of time, and it's just the best time of the year. But I've been Mixed, and this has been Azina Cocktail, and I will see you, friends, in the next cocktail video. And uh, one thing to mention before I go, if you are new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Mixed, as we're on the road to 2.5k. So we're slowly getting there, but uh, So thank you for all your support throughout the year. So I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on New Year's Eve. Cheers.